Welcome to the Fit Aid Morning Show. I'm your host, Kenny Santucci, and we're back for Wadapalooza Year 7. Welcome back to the VIP Experience here at Wadapalooza 2018, and I'm sitting here with Justin LaFranco of Morning Chalk Up. Tell us a little bit about, give me that elevator pitch for the Morning Chalk Up. Um, basically, you're going to wake up every day with a newsletter, um, just tells you everything you need to know about what's going on in CrossFit, um, Elite Fitness, um, the CrossFit community in general. Um, takes you about five minutes to read, and that's about it. So you told me a pretty interesting story about yourself, that you worked in politics. How do you go from working in politics to starting your own newsletter about CrossFit? Um, yeah, it's a really unique story. So basically, I worked in Washington, D.C. for almost a decade. Um, I worked on a couple of presidential campaigns. Um, and uh, after my last boss lost <laughs> in his race, I... Uh, Which was? Uh, Governor Walker in, in Wisconsin. And uh, so I was living in Madison, Wisconsin, the home of the CrossFit Games. And uh, basically, I just decided I was going to take a break, get out of politics. And uh, my first next big love was CrossFit, so um, I just kind of started putting this thing together and just watched it grow. How long have you been doing this now? Uh, March will be two years. Two years, and at, what's your email list look like? Uh, over 30,000, less than 100,000. <laughs> Somewhere in that realm. Okay, that's not too bad. So how'd you get into CrossFit? How'd that start? Uh, college, actually. I was in Southern California. It was 2006. Buddy of mine, he was on the baseball team. He found this crazy thing with kettlebells, started working out, um, tried it with him. It didn't stick right away, but uh, I was actually in Washington, D.C. working, and I saw him posting all these videos on uh, his Facebook page, and I was like, dude, I got to get back into that. So I started about six years ago uh, doing it like everybody else in a Globo gym, looking weird, doing Fran uh, you know, on a pull-up bar while everybody else is on their elliptical, and uh, then eventually I joined an affiliate and kind of sealed the deal. So... I mean, coming from that political world, I'm, I, I have no uh, background in it, and I've never done it before, and it, but it seems kind of stuffy. And then CrossFit's a little bit laid back, and you're an entrepreneur now, so you're not, you don't have to really answer to anybody. What was that transition like? Well, honestly, um, it's, people ask me, is like, how do you monitor so much of the internet all the time? How do you write this thing every day? And I just tell them, like, man, this is way easier than my last job. 100 hours a week seven days a week first meeting starts at seven in the morning in person you know I've, I've read for an hour by the time i even show up to work in the morning so this this to me is is awesome this is the best of all the worlds um i get to talk about something that i love and something that i love to do all the time um and i don't have to work 100 hour weeks <laughs> I, I think about it sometimes writing a blog like you're doing writing a uh, an email like you are you probably have to follow a shit ton of people on social media so who are some of your favorite people to follow uh, well, actually, one of them sitting in the crowd right now. It's Steffi Cohen because she lifts like a total bamf. Um, and so uh, we do typically follow her. Uh, we follow all the brands, all the writers, all the top athletes, a lot of the bottom 20 athletes because they're, they're the ones who are up and coming. They're the ones who are you know, pushing the envelope on their fitness and trying new things. Um, but we, I read everything. I read everything from political newsletters to brand newsletters to healthcare newsletters because the CrossFit industry isn't just about the CrossFit Games. It's, that's the 1%, right? That's the 1% of the 1%. You know, that's the most elite fit and fittest athletes. But the CrossFit community is 99%. So we read a lot of local stories, a lot of, um, you know, small journals or small local papers every single day. I spend at least two hours a day reading things that never end up getting in the morning chalk up. It's just, uh, it's about being and staying in touch with the community. So so being hev so heavily into the fitness community and reading all this stuff, got any interesting new facts or anything that you've discovered in the last couple months that you want to share with us? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think I'm probably at a loss for that one. As far as, like, big things, um, you know, we're, we're honestly, like, you'd be surprised, uh, especially to the outsiders, but the, the, the single largest pocket of growing individuals doing CrossFit is over the age of 50. Yeah, and you look at you look at all of the gyms now that are adding on. They're not adding more, more classes for guys like you and me. They're adding on classes for guys that are, you know, 50 plus. The senior classes, and and you look at you look at the communities where the largest pocket of growth is, and it's in seniors. 
and it, it, it's um, like I don't have a statistic on it, but everything that we see, everything we read, all of the gyms that reach out to us on a regular basis that just want to tell us that they're doing something new, they're talking about, um, you know, masters athletes. I, I actually had a conversation with a couple of gym owners the other day, and they were talking about how that population is growing. Could you tell us why, you, you know, what, what could we attribute that to? Well, first, you, you, you know, from a market perspective, look at the saturation of the market, right? We're all between 20 and 40 years old. We've been in CrossFit for a little while. Um, we haven't necessarily met all of the people that can possibly do CrossFit in that age genre, but we are... Capped it out a little bit. But we've capped it out a little bit. You know, you have that younger, fitter athlete who's really into sports and stuff, but... In the, you know, in the last five years, you've seen this explosion of growth in people that are 45 or 50 that said, well, the last time I worked out, I was in college, and that was 25 years ago, or before I had kids, and I just sent them off to college, and now my college kid is doing CrossFit, and I'm curious about it, too. I always find it interesting when I hear about parents who got their kids into it and then kids who got their parents into it. They're coming from a demographic and uh, from a majority. I, I don't know about your parents, but my parents are well into their 60s. I got them both into CrossFit four or five years ago, and these are two people who've never worked out in their lives. You know, so I think it's it's definitely uh, all these baby boomers that are now adopting the fitness world. Where do you see, you know, you, so you're covering a lot of this. Where do you see a lot of uh, population, a large pocket of this population growing? South Florida, California. Where do you see this actually expanding? Um, that's probably a tough one to answer, just because. We get notification, like we have 5,000 affiliates read us. So that's like 35 to 40% of the entire CrossFit world. And we get a lot of them emailing us, telling us like, oh, this is a new gym, or I just opened up a new gym. And it's all over the place. It really is all over the place. But, um, you know, it's still, it's still pr pr predominantly urban centers. It's still predominantly, you know, in, in the larger pockets of population. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's growing all over the place. I mean, the Midwest is so much bigger than it used to be for CrossFit. Um, the East Coast is so much bigger. Um, it's, I think it's just growing all over. So where where can we find you? Where can people uh, sign up and get the newsletter? Uh, go to morningchalkup.com. Uh, there's a nice little subscribe link up there at the top. Um, you can find us uh, sending out an email Monday through Friday. We're on Instagram, at Morning Chalk Up. We're on Facebook. We post fun, th fun stuff up there. Um, go to the website and check us out. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with some more guests.